to me. No, honey, we didn't. We're here. You're safe. You forgot me. Cat, we didn't forget you. We just had to go see about the fire. Did Justin do it? Yes, honey, he did. Did he burn anybody? No, thank God. Okay, it's time for bed. Please, can I sleep here? Please, please, I'm scared. All right, just for tonight. Cat. Cat, what are you doing? Just oh. had to get grizzly. Oh, good idea. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Oh. Can we get under there? There you go. I love you, Cat. Night, Mommy. Night, Daddy. Good night, sweetie. I can't pretend to know why it happened and happened now. I can only speculate the fire, the rage that came with the panic uh, when she felt deserted. And of course, this work brings up old memories, you know. But we were talking last night, and she said she didn't want to do bad things. I'm sure she meant it. But will she ever change? Will she ever lead a normal life? Jill, if you're asking me for a guarantee, I can't give you one. This is not a quick fix. And don't trust anybody that tells you it is. It's terrifying, I know, but we have to teach this child how to access her pain and her rage so that she can understand it and then she can control it. Well, what if she can't learn? What if she ends up like Justin? Do I just sit and wait for her to try to kill Rob or, or Eric? Well, Justin's 11. We don't know enough yet to easily reach a child of that age. But there's hope for Catherine. Here or at home as you continue to work with her. I don't know if I can. Maybe I should take over. Well, it's better if she bonds with her mother first. Jill, we have this last session. Can you do it? I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Why do you want to kill us? You're hurting me! No, your birth dad hurt you, Cat. Your birth dad hurt you. You hurt! What are you seeing? What are you seeing, Kat, honey? What is He's it? He's coming. He's coming. What's he doing? How do you feel, Kat? How do you feel? <laughs> I'll kill him. I hate him. I'll kill you. Tell him, Kat. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll stab you like Casey. I'll beat you like Eric. I'll burn you like Justin. You'll die, and you'll bleed, and you'll hurt, and you'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. How do you feel, Kat? I hurt. 
bitch. Mommy, mommy, I hurt. Louder, louder. I hurt, I hurt. Hold me, mommy, mommy, hold me. Hold me, mommy, mommy, I hurt, hold me. It's okay to hurt, and it's okay to be mad. Look at me, Cap. Now, now listen. Your birth dad hurt baby Cat. But this is your daddy, and he loves you very much. Do you understand that? Your birth dad hurt baby Cat, and that's why she wants to hurt other people. Kill them. Yeah, kill them. And do you know why? Do you want other people to hurt like you hurt? And be dead. Your birth dad hurt baby cat. And that's why she wants to hurt and kill. But cat isn't a baby. Not anymore. She's a big, strong, beautiful girl. Big, strong, beautiful Catherine can tell baby cat to stop. Big Catherine can control baby cat. And when she does, do you know something? That's when the hurting will start to go away. A few months ago, I preached a sermon to you about faith. That's what I was going to tell you again, implying that those who have faith live happily or, or at least happier ever after. But I want to confess to you here today that my faith is being tested as it has never been tested before. And it breaks my heart, as it breaks my heart to know that children can be so thoroughly neglected and so brutally abused that they lose their capacity to love and to be loved. that they must, just to protect themselves, wall off their hearts and open their souls to evil just to survive, that they must abjure conscience, set aside empathy, remorse, compassion, all of the feelings and the emotions that bind us together as human beings and as children of God. So let us vow protect every child from neglect and abuse and all of the other horrors of the world. So that